Welcome to Matthews Arena. For your safety, please take a moment to locate the exits closest to you. If an evacuation is required, please proceed calmly to the closest available exit and follow the direction of university officials and emergency personnel. If you see something, say something. Thank you and please enjoy the event. Chief Marshal Professor Jeffrey A. Bourne will now begin the procession of the candidates.
Would all candidates and graduates and their guests please rise as you are able for the procession of the platform party. Please be seated. <laughs> it is my distinct pleasure to introduce my longtime friend and colleague, the interim dean of the DeMore McKim School of Business, Emery Trahan. Please join me in welcoming him. Thank you, uh, Chief Marshall Bourne. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, uh, good morning to more McKim School of Business graduates, family, friends, members uh, of the faculty and staff, and esteemed guests. It's my great honor and privilege to welcome you to this happy and most important in-person commencement ceremony. At the outset, let me congratulate you um, and applaud the academic achievements of all of the graduates. Congratulations to Moore McKim, class of 2021. Let, let me place your achievement in context. As you may know, our university is more than 120 years old, and the School of Business will be 100 years old next year. Over many decades, we've been fortunate to work with thousands of terrific students like you. Today, we're, you're joining this great network of academic achievers who came before you and have gone on to make an impact on the world. So congratulations on sustaining this legacy of excellence. Um, <clears throat> You likely began your graduate studies excited to be at one of the best universities in the world, but with some sense of anxiousness and self-doubt. Now you are here today con confident and ready to thrive in the new world of work that has been transformed by digital convergence. Your reputation as a DeMore McKim graduate will always bestow upon you the well-deserved assumption that you are intelligent, hardworking, well-trained for leadership, and adaptable. I'm confident that you will use this degree to do great things professionally. All of this happened because you engaged and challenged yourself as you explored new intellectual and professional goals. You also learned with and from a wonderfully diverse set of people, and you, in particular, have done this through a time of unprecedented challenges um, due to the COVID pandemic. The good news is that you have developed and demonstrated an even greater level of resilience, which will serve you well as you enter an ever-changing business world. 
you will be able to constantly adapt and solve any problems that may come your way. You've been part of a diverse learning community at DeMoor McKim. However, there is still much work to do in creating a more inclusive economy, and you will be key drivers in getting that done. Engaging in dialogue with people who see the world differently from us enriches how we understand issues and develop insights. Please continue raising awareness of the importance of diversity and inclusion and belonging, and keep working to eliminate systemic barriers in order to create a sustainable and inclusive economy that provides opportunities for all. You did not get here today alone, let's be clear. You are here because of your hard work and efforts, but a perspective on what got you here and an acknowledgement of your support system is in order. A prestigious university like Northeastern thrives because of its intellectual capital. We're very fortunate to have faculty who work tirelessly to ensure the overall well-being of our students, and staff who work extraordinarily hard every day to execute the DeMoor McKim vision. I'd like to thank our tremendous faculty and staff. We're also very fortunate to have transformative leaders at the university, starting at the top with President Ayoun and including our provost, David Madigan, and trustees, DeMoor and McKim, who empower all of us to promote excellence. So thank you to them as well. Uh, also, and, and maybe most importantly, I'd like to thank the unsung heroes in your support networks, the parents, spouses, friends, families, and significant others of our graduates. You're the reason why they're standing here today. Graduates, please take a minute to look around and thank them for their support. Beyond family, friends, faculty, and staff, others have worked tirelessly to get you here. Alumni and friends of DeMoor McKim have visited your classes, worked with your student groups, and provided mentoring and funding for your scholarships. And our many corporate partners have helped you with experiential learning opportunities that facilitated and enhanced your academic learning. We owe these dedicated allies a, a, a debt of gratitude. Now I encourage you to follow in those footsteps, give so that others have the same advantages that you've had. As your careers continue to progress, we know you will proudly share what you have learned here and return with good fortune so that others may follow in your footsteps. Finally, remember that as you go forward, your successes reflect well on DeMoor McKim and Northeastern University. In turn, our successes here reflect well on you. We are now partners forever. Oh, and one more thing, and this is coming from a, a finance professor. Always remember that money is the reward, never the purpose. Excellence in what you do will bring you all that you need and more, including money, but the converse is not true. So follow your passion in life, and you will do well, enabling you to do good. Graduates of the class of 2021, nothing will make us happier than to see you have a significant impact on the world. So go out, make a difference, and make us proud. Graduates, congratulations again. I'd like to now invite uh, Professor John Fryer to the podium to introduce your student speaker. Good morning. And my congratulations to the graduates and to their families. You are to be commended for achieving under very challenging times. I have the privilege of introducing one of your co cohort to talk about her observations of what you have gone through and have achieved. I met Wenjin Zhang when she was in the engineering PhD program at Northeastern. I knew she was smart, not because she was a good engineer with a patent and several publications. No, it was because she was always interested in the business and the entrepreneurship sides of technology, which eventually led her to the MBA. Wenjin is a boundary spanner. She did an interdisciplinary PhD in engineering and biology. Now she has expanded again to combine engineering, science, and business. In innovation management, we have found that it is the boundary spanners who often come up with the most innovative ideas. Because they can bring their knowledge of one field into another, new ideas arise. Wenjin is also a boundary spanner between cultures. She came to the US from China to do her PhD, so she had to learn the nuances of a different culture. She got so good at understanding both the new culture and the new language that she tutors US students in Mandarin. 
But she also has maintained her Chinese base by creating an organization to help alumni from her undergraduate school, the University of Science and Technology of China, to network and to connect in the Boston area. She was president of this nonprofit for several years. A good boundary spanner must be willing to learn and to take chances by getting out of their knowledge comfort zones. A good learner needs to be open and observant in order to make connections between fields. These traits are also the characteristics of collaborative leaders. Plus, they are the characteristics of good entrepreneurs. Wen Zhen embodies these characteristics. She is willing to take risks in new areas to achieve. She is open and observant. She is a collaborative leader. I'm positive she will have many good insights to share with us today. I am, however, going to continue to nudge her to start her own company. But for now, I'm happy to introduce her as your student speaker. I give you Wen Zhen Zhang. Thank you, John, for the kind introduction. And thank you for writing me the recommendation letter for the program in the first place. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending upon where you are in the world at this moment. Esteemed faculty and staff, fellow graduates, family and friends, I'm very humbled to be speaking to you today at this graduation ceremony. As a representative of Jamal McCann School of Business, class of 2021, thank you very much for this amazing opportunity. I'm so happy to be here together with all of you to celebrate such a major achievement in our lives, an achievement we have worked so hard for. We pushed each other, we challenged each other, and more importantly, we supported each other. We accomplished this together. No doubt there have been unique challenges and setbacks that each of us had to face along our personal journeys arriving here today. Needless to say, COVID has disrupted all our lives. It disrupted our traditional approaches to learning prevented us from talking in person, restricted our opportunities to work together inside and outside of our classes, and it limited our ability to network with one another. However, we adapted. Northeastern University's administration adapted by introducing hybrid technologies into the classroom for easier communication via Zoom, which is now a universally known word in our vocabulary. Our faculty adapted by embracing as much as possible the new requirements of working together virtually online. And most of all, we, the students, adapted, excelling in a relatively unfamiliar and unasked for online environment. Together, we handled the stress, the frustration, and the turbulence that came with this disruption. And this, is not, this was not just school or career related. Many of us had to confront difficult health issues in our lives and homes. I am in awe and have great respect for all of you and your ability to cope with these difficult times. We should be proud that we had the resilience, the ability to adapt in order to be here today. And we should have gratitude for the kindness of those who helped us along the way. A special shout out to our amazing professors. You have equipped us with leading edge business skills in accounting, finance, marketing, supply chain management, people and organizational management, and strategic decision making, just to name a few. I 
would also like to take this opportunity to give a heartfelt thank you to all of the families that, that are here today. And to those of and to those who support us but were not able to make it. Many of us would not be here without the support of parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts and uncles, partners, and for some of us, even children. Thank you for believing in us and for allowing us to pursue our dreams. The world will never stop changing and evolving. Change is inevitable. It is how we react to change, how we lead during times of change that matters so much more. How we embed learning for life into our life plan and how we execute it with great curiosity and courage that will lead us to new adventures. How, we, how to find comfort in uncomfortable situations and to be kind and empathetic in order to push ourselves higher as well as those we are tasked to serve. To push ourselves higher, to be better people, to do better work, and to love each other more. Now, Eastern, especially the Jamal McCann School of Business, has provided us with an invaluable asset, our master's degree, empowering us to pioneer change and innovation in the real world. It is now up to us to take the knowledge, lessons we have learned, and the friendships we have developed to work together, embrace challenges, find opportunities, and create solutions to build a better future and to make the world a better place. As we step forward into the next chapter in our careers and lives, I encourage you to dream bigger, to quote Steve Jobs, stay hungry, stay foolish, keep looking, don't settle, and don't lose faith. Follow what you love in life, your real passion. To conclude, be thankful, choose your own path, enjoy life, and have fun. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much, Wen Jun, for a great speech. Um, it's now my pleasure to call upon Richard A. DeMore, Chair of the Board of Trustees, to introduce your graduation speaker. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Venkat Srinivasan. Venkat, who can't be with us in person today, but will be joining us by video. As founder and managing director of InnoSpark Ventures, Venkat embodies the entrepreneurial spirit, always seeking his next idea, next patent, next company. He has founded innovative AI startups and successful enterprises, published over, 300, uh, over 30 research papers, secured nine patents, and authored a book entitled The Intelligent Enterprise in the Era of Big Data. He is a passionate advocate of our educational model as seen through his service. through his service on the Dean's Executive Council at the DeMoor McKim School of Business and his involvement in the Dean's Inclusive Economy Initiative. Please welcome Venkat Srinivasan.
Thank you, Rich, for inviting me to address the graduating class of 2021. Dear class of 2021, I'm honored to be speaking to you today. You're graduating into a world grappling with an unprecedented public health crisis and a deeply polarized one with conflicts both within countries and among countries. On the one hand, you can view it as sobering reality and give up in despair. On the other, you can view it as full of possibilities to make a difference in ways small and big. I hope you will choose the latter view. Indeed, we need you to choose the latter view. Some of you have probably already decided on your immediate future. I hope you have chosen to get involved in addressing the critical needs of our times. Climate change, social inequities, intolerance born of ideological conflicts. Those of you who are still in the process of finding your purpose, I would urge you to keep the above in mind. You see, you have the unique privilege and ability to chart your course in these unprecedented times. I'm truly grateful to many who have helped me in my life until now. Most importantly, my family, my wife and our two wonderful daughters, my parents and friends and colleagues from my childhood to my various companies. Drawing on my life experience, I'm gonna offer you three anchoring ideas as you plot your own unique path. Boundaryless thinking, impact first entrepreneurship, and tolerance born of understanding. The first idea that has turned out to be of immense value in my life is being open to crossing boundaries of knowledge or fields. I'm labeling this boundaryless thinking in hindsight. I started as a CPA, transitioned to finance first and then to AI and technology. I started as a corporate employee, became an academic, turned an entrepreneur, and now I'm a full-time venture investor. In each of these transitions, I didn't proactively think about the transition, but I was open to new opportunities. The common thread was a desire to create impact, the common skill, abstract thinking. Often it meant a lot of new learning and lots of hard work, but that was par for the course. I was always excited by the ultimate potential outcome, and reminded myself of that when faced with struggles along the way to get there. Too often we limit ourselves by focusing narrowly on what we have majored in, finance, marketing, data science, org behavior, and so on. While your start may well be related to your immediate field, you should always be open to expanding your horizon into uncharted territories. The world is full of people who are quick to tell you you can't. I've had my share of that. But create your own normal. Your self-belief, perseverance, and hard work will get you there. I want to talk about social inequities next. Bill and Melinda Gates in their annual letter point out that despite spending billions, they've not seen the kind of progress they expected with learning outcomes in K-12 education public schools. At least half the world's population cannot obtain essential health services. And the recent pandemic has exacerbated the equity gap in our societies and further brought to the fore the urgency with which we must act to solve the social challenges of our time. Why are we unable to solve social challenges at scale, despite spending billions of dollars annually? Philanthropy and public spending has had some impact, but not nearly as much as we need. Is more philanthropy the answer? I'm afraid not. More philanthropy is good, but it's not the entire answer. NGOs can't scale. Social enterprises were welcomed with much enthusiasm, but have not lived up to their promise yet. In attempting to maximize both profits and impact, they may end up not achieving either. Impact investors still emphasize returns over impact, so they're not gonna help us get there. While a for-profit enterprise also creates social impact, the value it creates for the entrepreneur, employees, and shareholders, it certainly has not been uniform. Many people today believe capitalism does more harm than good, especially millennials. I draw a distinction though between good and greedy capitalism. I believe that profit creation and philanthropy are on two ends of this same, same spectrum of impact. With success, the good entrepreneurs move along the spectrum from the profit end to the philanthropy end. In that spirit, I'm involved in an experiment which I would urge you to consider if you want to be a social entrepreneur, what I call an impact-first entrepreneurship or an enterprise. An impact-first enterprise will maximize impact and minimize price or profits. Ten years ago, I founded English Helper as an impact-first enterprise to improve literacy in poor, underserved populations using AI technology. We've achieved significant impact improving literacy by 40 to 60% in government schools in India, 
Sri Lanka and eight other countries. We've achieved enormous scale. In India, we've reached 20 million students, 100,000 schools, 500,000 teachers by the end of 2021, and the entire country of Sri Lanka. The goal is to reach 100 million students in the next two, three years. And the, the important thing is we minimize price. The, a comparable product in the US is likely to cost 60 to 80 to 100 dollars a student per year. English helper prices are a dollar per student per year. It's been a conscious decision. Can we reasonably hope to reach all 200 million students in Indian government schools and make a real difference at scale? Can we hope to expand to whole countries like Sri Lanka and extend the impact globally? I think we can. I encourage you to think about the impact first enterprise model if you're planning to start your own enterprise. Let me segue to the third anchoring idea. How can you help build an inclusive, tolerant society? I believe many conflicts today are largely a result of not spending the time to understand another person or group and being afraid of how different they appear to be. We become afraid they might change our way of living, our power or control over our society. You know all this. From a purely pragmatic point of view, while these fears are natural, we are seven billion plus inhabiting this interdependent planet. We have to learn to coexist. We cannot ghetto ourselves to preserve our way of life. We can preserve our way of life being secure in who we are, promoting friendship and mutual dependence, and showing a tolerance to others born out of understanding. Sounds too idealistic. I'm afraid this is going to happen either in a good or violent way. Luckily, having grown up in a multi-ethnic, multicultural society, this is the only way I knew to be. I hope you will spend the time to understand and become a beacon for healthy and happy coexistence and not retract into conflict. As you emerge proudly with the Demore and became education and degree, don't forget to thank your parents, teachers, friends, and others who've helped you get to where you are today. They packed your parachute. Nurture your friendships that you formed at your time at Demore McKen. As they say, friends are your chosen family. Congrats once again, class of 2021. I hope you will remember tolerance out of understanding boundaryless thinking, and impact-first entrepreneurship as you go out into the world with the skills and education you have acquired at Demore McKen. Don't accept any new normal. Build your new normal. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Srinivasan Venkat. Um, the degrees will now be conferred. Will the candidates please rise and remain standing until your degree has been conferred? Provost Madigan, it is my pleasure to report to you that the candidates here assembled and others have qualified in all respect for the degrees in course. Master of Business Administration, Master of Science with Specification, or Master of Science. They have successfully completed curricula offered by the DeMore McKim School of Business and have been recommended by the faculty and the Council of Deans to be awarded degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments. Thank you, Dean Traham. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, I confer on you and all those who have properly qualified the degree of Master of Business Administration, Master of Science with Specification, or Master of Science, with all the honors, privileges, responsibilities, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Graduates, please be seated. Associate Dean Klepper will announce the graduates as they are presented to the platform by the marshals.
administration, Kehinde Edelane. Murad Afani. Maverick Fernandez Afonso. Cameron Kurosh Ahari. Brian Philip Allenby. Juliana Clarice Alfinito. J. S. Altschuler. <laughs> Ashley Alves. <laughs> Dennis Amblo. <laughs> Amru Amir. <laughs> Suli Baez. <laughs> Katie Renee Beardsley. Magda Beltran. <laughs> Natalie Catherine Bagnano. <laughs> Marissa Felice Boluiki. <laughs> Hannah Brower. <laughs> Ryan John Bruchu. Julia Caldez Marquez Lima. Michelle Calderon. Jeremy Christopher Carter. Taylor Jordan Shuria. Chaz Armand Chevalier. Austin Henry Chenal. Jenny Chung. Sean Anthony Consiglio. Stephen Ralph Corbicero Jr. Anastasia Costa. William Thomas Courtney. Michael Robert Covino. Michael Kraft. Andrew Mark Daly. Gabriella Loretta D'Ambrosio. Stephanie Dolce. Jeffrey Mark Delgarian. <laughs> Laura Michelle Elsmore. <laughs> Tanya Fandino Leung. <laughs> Yi Ching Fang. <laughs> Lauren Forney. Harriet Roxel Aisha Gabidin. Ryan Matthew Geckler. Elias Gabrihiewit. Shannon Germain. Kristen Giarusso. David Gabriel Gonzalez. Stacy Eileen Gordon. Suzanne Hayiri. Kevin Harkis. Brian Herring. Suzanne Hishmay. Stephen McGuire Hunt. 
Abdi Rahman Hussein. Rockwell Monroe Jackson. And Juri Jane. Arun Jane. This is you. Yeah. Samanda Jean. <laughs> we love her too. <laughs> Deliwe Margaret Lufa Jalbert. You again? We love her so much. Samanda Jean. <laughs> Rafi Walid Kasamani. <laughs> Jacob Kearney. <laughs> Kuzema Karula. <laughs> Wachula Koneski. John Preston Kreischer. Oliver Anthony Kwai Ben. Tam Tai Tan Lee. Wilford Lee. Shannon Teresa Lanchar. Sanjay Kundura Lote. Erin Marie Maloney. Yeah. Jayla Mamadova. Yeah. Tyler Benukian. Yeah. Claudia Martinez. Yeah. Kevin McCord. John McGinnis. <laughs> Jessica Messina. <laughs> Glendon Ann Mohan. <laughs> Kevin John Mosher. <laughs> Nicole Delory Nebulus. Yan Li Nguyen. Annie Sineski O'Connor. Lauren Rebecca Parker. Dikshil Patel. Nathaniel Perkins. Ricky Ann Parati. Shireen Porbimani. <laughs> Daniel Wade Perchia. <laughs> Kadeem Anthony Shaquille Ralph. <laughs> Jacqueline Reyna. <laughs> Juliet Lisa Reynolds. Byron Rodriguez. Elizabeth Sally Thomas. Ryan Shea. Casey Patrick Sheehy. Andrew Richard Skaggs. Zhang Wen Zhang. <laughs> the Master of Science Accounting, Master of Business Administration, Haley Ann Ackert.
Dauti Akufo. Fidan Alieva. Shane Bowling. Jennifer Burke. Fiona Mokira Congo. William Cordes. Timothy Korn. Jenna Dem. Matthew Naronho. Connor Sanson O'Keefe. Regina Pinkosova. Elizabeth Poor. Alexandra Erin Price. Brent Rasmussen. Francisco Alberto Rodriguez Tinio. Dean Rosales Jr. David Rautenberg. Zachary Shabman. Natalie Marie Cease. Samuel Swain. Laura Tai. Raliat Tiabiu. John Reynolds Ward. Jairui Lee, the Master of Science in Finance. Mianning Kuo. Matthew Raymond Brawl. The Master of Science in Accounting, Wen Chi Cheng. Yeah. Tian Chu Chu. Audrey Jean Friedman. <laughs> Chen Chi Kwan. James Hoffman. <laughs> William James Keeley. <laughs> Nathan Ryan Porel. <laughs> Sean Francis Sullivan. Nahen T. Tai. <laughs> William Taus. For the Master of Science and Finance, Master of Business Administration, Keith Bentley. <laughs> Deidre Jennings. <laughs> Rosie Trovato. Andrew Weinberger. For the Master of Science in Finance, Vedita Argoala. Mike Akiki. James Michael Becker. Kilian Benjabala. <laughs> Darshan Devani Varun Gandhi Hajar Idwaman Kwan Lee Putsadi Leila Hassin Megan Leisha. Seali Muye. 
Feng Tai An Yuan. Joanna Ogor. Kavan Pandit. Parth Patel. Min Khoi Pham. Pranay Manojukumar Mehta. Pooja Thakur. Kwe Trung Tran. Abhishek Tripathi. Xin Wang. Christina Rui Tahara. Shakti Yadav. Ganghui Sheng. Xiao Tang Zhang. Michael Kelly. Nicole Yaksic. Demetria Yanakopoulos. The Master of Science. Ernest Kobana Atapua. Sean Bennett. Stephanie Chan. Chi Shen Chen. Ziying Chen. Lisa Kolo. Yan Wen Dong. Montana Sombrick Bakolu. Christopher Dunnigan. Zenadia Vashikana. Ling Fang. Fei Fei. Ching Feng Gao. Xin Gao. Pauline Hickey. David Ibakwe. Sneha Ja. Alexa Johnson. Minwoo Kim. Naren Viswanath Kohli. Agraj Kusharetha. Manat Lamba. Fong Li. Tram Li. Ruen Li. Aliana Rose Longo. Wan Lu. Jinglin Lu. Ani Ma. Lele Ma. Ardalan Madivia. Michael McCarthy. Juan Carlos Muniz. Huang An Pan. Ying Zhang Pan. Farah Patterson.
Preeti Poduturi. Sophia Rojo de Busto. Maria Cristina Roshito. Dibolina Sasmal. Kyle St. Germain. Xin Yu Tang. Eswar Vadakapurapa. Haripriya Vemulupadi. Inoska Ventura. Li Ming Wei. Zhang Kui Wu. Xu Yuan Zhu. Li Huilin Yang. Xuining Yang. Cindy Yi Fung. Kelly Yokoki. Derek Yu. Spencer Brandon Young. Ivan Zapeta. Angela Shulin Zhang. Wei Huang Zhang. Zheng Yan Shang. Jane Hui Zhang. Hang Zheng Zhang. Si Yu Zhu. Leila Zweiter. Samuel Maman. Shi Ji. And Shang Yang. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome LMS McKim, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, to the podium. Congratulations. Today I am pleased to introduce our alumni speaker, Adam Fazzini. Adam earned his MBA from the DeMore McKim School of Business in 2017 where he mastered the art of building networks to forge personal and professional connections. Through his early career in higher education, Adam became an expert at shaping relationships in philanthropy, 
carefully matching donors' interests with those of institutions that could meaningfully support, including Northeastern. He took his business education to the world of investments, serving as an investment research and trading associate at Rockland Trust, where he connects clients with opportunities. Please welcome a man who knows his networks, Adam Fazzini. Graduates, we salute your temerity, your drive, and your resilience during a year like no other. You have persisted through unthinkable challenges, and you have made it through to earn your degree and join a robust, diverse, and vibrant Northeastern alumni community. As our next generation of trailblazing pioneers, you will challenge the way we think, communicate, and experience the world around us. Your potential is virtually limitless, and your ambition is unrelenting. Not only are you accomplished and gifted members of the class of 2021, you are a part of a thriving Northeastern network that is making an impact around the globe. As you know, Northeastern's alumni network spans many generations and geographies, cultures, and careers. With alumni, parents, and students living in more than 190 countries, you are empowered to both build connections and pay an, play an active role in enhancing the Northeastern network worldwide. The Office of Alumni Relations will keep connections strong with your lifelong Northeastern community, use it to keep learning, access career strategies, engage with thought leaders and idea generators, and find the resources you need to achieve what's next. And now to recognize the tradition of the Northeastern alumni pin. For those wearing your red alumni pin, think of this each time you see it. The pin symbolizes your determination, resilience, and success, as well as your inclusion in a new Northeastern experience as alumni. I am thrilled to welcome you into a Northeastern alumni network and eagerly anticipate watching your stories unfold. Congratulations, DMSB Graduate Class of 2021. Now it is time to deliver my charge. In your lifelong journey, remember that you have a home wherever you go. It is called the Northeastern Family, and we are everywhere. It will always be here for you worldwide. Our graduates have changed the world. It's your turn now. Our world is beset by challenges. It is complex beyond reckoning, but also beautiful beyond imagination. Now the world belongs to you. It is in your hands, graduates. I salute you. Congratulations. Thank you, Provost Madigan. And how about a special round for Associate Dean Klepper for calling all those names. We ask family and friends to please remain seated for the recession of the platform party and the graduates. After the arena floor empties, we ask the audience to make their way to the exits so that we can prepare for our next event. Thank you and safe journey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 